guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariana and today we're gonna go ahead and grab our coffee and apparently penguin Christmas cup. We're going to just chill and do an unboxing video. So let's get into it. Okay, so I got this. Let's see what exactly is it. It is a Chefman 12 inch electric crepe maker and griddle. So Backstory on this, I've been wanting a crepe maker for a while, and I really cannot tell you why. But I decided lately I've gotten a job and I have enough money, so I got one. <laughs> I got one for you guys so that if you are like me and you want to try getting a crepe machine, then you can. And you don't have to think, hmm, is it going to work? Is this a good brand? Is it reliable? Is it truly non-stick like all the different questions you might have on it hopefully i can help answer today i will be showing you me unboxing the crate thing but also at the end of it stay tuned for me trying out i assume they're gonna have recipes inside their book so if they do like their little instruction book i actually don't know i have not opened it yet it's been torturing me because it's been here for like three days now so i've been really just dying to open it but i haven't done it yet so anyways I assume it comes with a little book inside, and in that book, I'm hoping it has at least three recipes, and if so, I'm thinking I'll try them out for you guys at the end of this video, so if it has that, stay tuned. If it doesn't, I will still make a great recipe just for you guys. So anyway, let's jump right into the unboxing, and let's get a little bit of a closer view so you can see the inside. It has like a little pull tab here, so I guess we'll just pull that open, and I guess it just pops open. So here's what the inside looks like. And I guess we just start pulling stuff out now. Now, <laughs> does this work? I'm just gonna pull in the plastic. Okay, so it's coming out. Okay, so yeah, there is a little booklet in here. Um, there is instructions, safety instructions. I'm looking at the little contents. It doesn't look like there's any recipes, which I'm actually surprised of, because usually stuff like this does come with recipes um, inside the booklet of different things they suggest. Anyways, it won't be for Chefman crepe recommendation, but I will find some recipes and do some crepes for you guys at the end of the video, so do stay tuned. So, here we are. This is the little crepe spatula thing to make me like flip it with. Now, there is this plastic layer, but I think the styrofoam comes off first. It sure does. Nice little boat. I bet I could do a craft with that. Yeah, <laughs> my brain. Okay. Let's open up the plastic. Here's the second little wooden tool for it. So if you guys haven't seen crepes being made, this is used to spread and turn around and make a really thin layer. So pretty straightforward. It's just got a nice little pan. This is supposed to be nonstick, so we'll see how it goes. Although they say for best results, you should lightly grease it. So we'll see how nonstick it actually is. So here's what the bottom looks like. Um, it's got a little place for it to rest. I actually don't know what all this is for though Because this is where it sits on the counter right here these little white parts They're a little nice and soft so it doesn't scrape your counter, but I don't know what that's all for it shows all the different temperatures The on and off the I don't even know what that is. Oh, that's just to let you know It's on that's not even a button, but this is not a button either. Okay <laughs> So neither of those are buttons. Okay, so the cord is only like about the length of my arm a little bit longer so just keep that in mind if you are ordering this and you're going to be needing to use it a little ways from a plug-in, then you might want to order an extension cord as well. So that's basically it. Um, there's really not that much more to be said. It looks cool, but aside from the looks, here's what I want to know. Does it work? Before it gets all hot and everything, I'm going to go ahead and clean it off. So to a bowl, we're going to add our flour some water, our milk. For the record, it's a half cup of water, half cup of milk, a cup of flour, two eggs, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of butter for the recipe. Some salt, and lastly, two tablespoons of butter. And now we're just gonna mix it up. I'd say it's about as mixed as it's gonna get. It's about the texture, consistency. Let's go ahead and try out this crepe maker. So I put it onto the darkest setting. 
Okay, so they suggest to lightly grease the pan first, but I just want to see what happens if I don't. So let's just give her a try. I also don't know how much batter to put on there, so. Ooh. Oh, add a little bit more on there. First attempt doesn't look terrible, so I'm just gonna, definitely a good nonstick surface. The one thing I do love about this recipe is that it has no sugar in the actual dough itself, so you can make whatever you want, sweet or savory, with the same batter. So I didn't only get this to do crepes, I also got this to do just whatever different cooking stuff. I thought it'd be a fun, easy surface. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm just gonna be doing crepes for today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put filling in it. Actually, before putting in filling, I'm just gonna try the crepe by itself. So I'm gonna fold it up like a crepe. Okay, that's not bad, let me get out of plate. Oh! <laughs> you gotta see that. Okay, so here we are. That's what the crepe looks like. Soft and fluffy, comes unfolded. Oof, look at that steam. Let's go get this try. So I've got the crepe right here. And I don't really know, I guess you're supposed to use the fork, but I'm just gonna use my hands because it's got no filling, it's not messy, so. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so it's actually really good, but mainly for someone who just loves bread. It doesn't have any sweet flavor, which I personally like because I don't have a huge sweet tooth. Um, it's got a very interesting texture though. It tastes like not very salty bread. Like. I like it, but I think it's actually maybe better than I was expecting. I love how durable it is. It's got good like tortilla kind of texture and taste to it. Yeah, I highly suggest so far what I've tried. If you're looking for a savory route or even not so, I still suggest it. <laughs> um, I suggest trying this with like some bean dip and salsa and stuff and making it into a little burrito. I think that would be a good option. Okay, let's go make another one and try it with some filling. I found they do suggest you to lightly grease the pan, but I personally do not think it needs that. So I'm gonna try and put this directly in the middle. And I really hope this works this time because I sucked at it last time. But let's just give it a try. It might be a little too hot for making it perfect circle kind of thing. Because as you can see, it's just kind of cooking and coming off, but I'm still giving it a good try. So I patched up the holes. I'm going to give her a flip, maybe. Man, this really is so non-stick surface. Such a non-stick surface. I like that a lot. This would be a great way to make pancakes, because like, this is easy and it cooks very, very fast. I think this is pretty much done, so I'm going to go get some fillings. Does that not look just like a tortilla, though? I'm going to go with some peanut butter. Oof, this could be interesting. Ooh, she's hot. I'm gonna put some peanut butter on there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on some chocolate. Lastly, I'm gonna put on some chopped bananas because I think that'd be great. That looks nice. Probably should just grab a spatula, but hey, whatever. All right, that's what it looks like. Oof. Oh my gosh, that looks so good though. It's super hot, so I'm probably gonna burn the crap out of myself. Entertainment, right? Okay. It's so hot. Oh God. Okay, that was a really good one, but like, I burnt the crap out of my mouth. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. It's cooled down a bit. I tried a corner bite and that was good. Now, let's try a middle bite. Mmm. That was so good. Okay. You guys have to try to that combination if you make the crepes. Peanut butter, chocolate syrup, bananas. Let's try a look at another one. For this next one, I turned on the heat and I'm going to make this one a cheese filled. Oh yeah, that's working better. I suggest if you do this, use it on a lower heat 
and you will probably end up with better coverage. I want the cheese to start melting, so I'm gonna put it on while it's still cooking a bit. This one will fold in half. As you can see, it's nice on this side. I'm gonna check the other side though. It's taking a little while now that it's trying to get back up to heat, but as you can see, it's getting nice and crispy. I just want this to get very, very crunchy. That's what I hope. Okay. Now this is most definitely going to burn the ever-loving crap out of me if I bite it right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and let it oh, cool for a long time, and then I'll see you guys and I can try it. Uh -oh. I finally made the perfectly round crepe. I let it cool for a while so I wouldn't burn myself, but I still want to try a cheese break and see if anything spreads. Not a great cheese break, but let's still give it a try. Okay. Mm. If you're someone that really likes, like, what's it called? Um, grilled cheese sandwiches, you would love this. So it ensures that you get that nice crunch without having to slather the outside in butter. And you've got to eat it while it's hot. It's so good. Alrighty. I approve. Alrighty, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful. My takeaway from this is that I would totally get this again if knowing all the details, I would totally get this again. I love this thing. It can do basically anything from crepes to just real food. So I love it. I totally recommend. So go get one. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week for another video. And signing out.